our next topic will be about the ideal gas. So there are two basic gas laws, the Boyle's law and the Charles law, but we can combine this one into what we call combined gas laws. So according to Boyle's law, if the temperature of a given quantity of gas is held constant, the volume of gas varies inversely with the absolute pressure during a change of state. So the Boyle's law has a constant temperature. And according to, to Charles' law, there are two cases. If the pressure on a particular quantity of gas is held constant, and the second case is if the volume is held constant. So by formula, according to Boyle's law, the constant temperature, the P or the pressure times V or the volume is constant from the first state, pressure 1 times volume 1 is equal to the second pressure and the second volume. And according to Charles' law, at constant pressure, volume over temperature is held constant. So V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. And for constant volume, pressure over temperature is constant or that is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And in some cases, these laws can be combined into P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V2 over T2. And then the equation of state or characteristic equation of a perfect gas is stated in this equation. Pressure times volume is equal to the mass times the specific gas constant times the absolute temperature. And so, for example, a drum 6 inches in diameter and 40 inches long contained acetylene at 250 PSIA and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. After some of the acetylene was used, the pressure was 200 PSIA and the temperature was 85 degrees Fahrenheit. What proportion of the acetylene was used? And then, what volume would be the used acetylene occupy at 14.7 PSIA and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The R4 acetylene is 59.35 foot-pound force over pound mass degree ranking. So for letter A, we are going to solve for the masses of the acetylene. So based on the given, original pressure is 200 PSIA and original temperature is 550 degree ranking. We are going to add 460 to our 90 degrees Fahrenheit so we can get the equivalent absolute temperature at degree ranking. The pressure 2 is 200 PSIA. And so the same for the absolute temperature, we are going to add 460. That is 545 degree ranking. And then solving for the volume of the drum using the volume of the cylinder formula that is pi d squared h over 4 and so substituting for all the values that will be equal to 1130.97 cubic inch and then converting to cubic feet that is equal to 0.6545 feet cube for the first mass we are going to use the ideal gas equation but we are going to solve for mass 1. So that is P1V1 over R times T1. Our pressure is 250. Our volume is 0 0.6545. And then converting our inches squared here on our pressure into square feet. Then R for acetylene is 5935 and then our temperature is degree ranking. So our mass 1 is 0.7218 pound mass. For the second mass, using the same formula, our pressure differs at 200 PSI. And then our temperature is 545 degree ranking. So our second mass is 0.5828 pound mass. And so in computation for the volume of the used acetylene, that is the used the mass of the used acetylene is equal to the original mass minus the remaining mass. So that is 0 0.7218 pound mass minus 0 0.5828 pound mass. That is equal to 0 0.139 pound mass, the used acetylene. 
In calculation for the proportion, we have to divide the masses, the used acetylene mass versus the original mass. So that is M3 over M1 or 0.139 divided by 0.7218 or that is 0.1926 or in percentage form times 100 that is 19.26 percent for letter b in finding for the volume of the of the used acetylene we are going to use the third specifications for the used acetylene so our formula to be used is the third volume which is equal to the third mass the used acetylene mass times r times the third temperature over the third pressure and our mass is 0 0.139 our r is 59.35 our t is 540 and our pressure is 14.7 so that will be equal to 2.105 cubic feet so that is it for our ideal gas topic for our next topic that will be about specific heat for your questions comment on our discussion